Thousands of students in the East County returned to the classroom today. Fox 5's Jacqueline Sarkeesian was at Grossmont Union High School for their first day. It is the first day of school for about 20,000 students within the Grossmont High School Union District. Now there's a lot of things that students can expect as they head in for the first day of class for the fall semester. First and foremost, they will have to be wearing some kind of face covering when indoors and the district will continue with the cleaning protocols that were set in motion last year. Teachers and staff will also have to wear a mask inside. Superintendent Teresa Kemper says the mandate has seen some pushback from parents, which is why they're offering another other kind of option like putting their kid or kids in an independent study program. This will be the traditional format where a student works alone but checks in with teachers. Needless to say, Kemper is super excited to have kids back in the classroom for in-person learning. Some parents are concerned about if, uh, whether or not it's safe to come back. We assure them it's absolutely safe. Students were coming back all last year, and we showed that we were able to do it safely, so I have full confidence that there won't be problems. We've got this. As for that independent study program, Kemper mentions it will not be like the hybrid and distance learning program they had in place last year. Reporting from El Cajon, Jacqueline Sarkeesian, Fox 5 News.